Welcome back to the Gordon Racing 412 YouTube channel. Today, episode two of Project Code Red. We're gonna go down there, get the transom in, start doing some epoxy work, and hopefully get this thing back together. All right, so we have our transom piece here. We have it laminated together with a piece of fiberglass cloth in between it. And we're gonna get this glued in and then get the stringer glued in. Getting the holes for the transom measured up and figured out with our transom template. All right, so we got the holes drilled in our transom, which is the holes for where the engine is going to mount onto. And in that, we have a two by six that we're gonna use to bolt the, uh, bolt the two by six on the inside so that the epoxy will get squished in and it'll all adhere. And we're just mixing up epoxy now. transom is epoxied in we got all of the clamps that we have on there and we have it bolted through this two by six so it's all squished together let it cure and we'll come back to it later all right guys it's day two on code red we're heading down there right now we're gonna see how that epoxy dried up and get started on laying in some fiberglass cloth okay so apparently i didn't film anything in between me saying that and us actually doing it so here we are as you can see you're getting some resin on the transom and getting some fiberglass cloth on there now we did the transom and the stringer down the center of the boat at the same time so that Hopefully it all dried up together fine and then it was just the floor that had to go back on top of it. Just like that, everything is glassed in. We'll let it set up for the night. And we'll be back tomorrow. All right, just doing a little bit of cleanup here with the grinder. And then we're gonna get that piece of floor and get it ready to be glued into the boat. Okay, we got our bottom of our floor covered in resin just to seal it up and protect it a little bit more everything in here is ready to go so we are going to mix up some epoxy and get that glued into there
getting ready to glass in the floor. It's the final step. And then we can make it look like a boat again. Looking all right. Yeah, that looks fine. Beauty, let's do it. Let's do it. Should I just pour this whole thing right on the floor? Yes. <laughs> I would say so. Pour it in on right here and then we'll just spread it wherever we want to spread it. Before you put the hardener in that, give me a hand. Mm -hmm. Move your front and back. Yeah, I would say almost like I'll hold this up and you kind of get the back where you want the back to be. Cody, Cody, you gotta let the people know that we're just mixing up some epoxy and we're gonna fill in all the holes around the edges so that we can rivet the deck back on nicely. All right, and just like that, the structure of this boat is done. We just spent a little bit of time cleaning up, a little bit of grinding, a little bit of whatever. And we're now getting ready to paint the inside of the bolt before we put the deck on because it's much easier to do it that way. And this thing's going to be looking like a bolt real soon. coat of paint makes all the difference first coat in just letting it dry up before we do the second one but we are expecting snow today so we are gonna bring this inside and get it ready to drop on Sweet. There we go. Beautiful. So you just saw us pick the deck up and it's pretty light. So now we're going to pick up the hull, kind of get a gauge of how light this boat's going to be once it's together. You ready? Do that. It should be good. It should be pretty light. Alright. It is 
the next morning after we brought the deck in. And as you can see, this is exactly why we did bring the deck in, because it's snowing. Winter's here. All right, it's time to make this boat a boat again. Let's make it whole. Paint's all dried up. Looks not bad, we need a second coat, but everywhere that's gonna be covered by the deck looks fine. So we're gonna put the deck on. We'll be able to do a second coat just in the middle once it's all dried up. Okay, change of plans. We flipped the deck over just to clean the bottom side and we hadn't looked at it yet. And these deck supports are rotten. So we are going to cut these out and replace them and clean up the bottom of the deck before we drop it on. All right, we got the old rotten supports cut out. Everything's all cleaned up. We got our new supports are ready to epoxy into place and then we will glass over top of them and get that back supported a little bit of a miss by us kind of forgot about the deck supports to be honest so you know luckily the the front one here is is nice and solid there's no issues there it was just these side ones that were really bad so Get them replaced and then after that we can get it put back together okay so it's been a couple days got this all new deck supports all glassed in decided to give it a coat of paint while it was sitting here upside down because why not and today is the day today is the day it becomes a complete boat again. Okay. Yep. How are we doing? I guess we're just gonna kind of what? Just really flexing. Straight down. And just like that, it is a boat again. Still got to clean it all up. We still have to attach the deck. It's just sitting on here, but it just gets riveted right through the side, all the way around. But I like it. I like it. So normally the rub rail would go on first and we'd rivet the whole boat through the metal to hold it all together. We're just putting in a couple of temporary rivets because we want to address this paint situation before we put the metal edging on. All right, guys, we're going to end that video off here. As you can see, Code Red is now upside down because we have decided we are going to paint it. So we're going to get that prepped for that. But in the meantime, there's, there's another one. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to go get yourself a T850 Canada t-shirt. The link is in the description of this video. We got the Delta and we got the Critchfield. And every shirt that you guys buy will help us build brand new boats so that hopefully we can get some more people out racing. Thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.